Hey everybody, how's it going? We haven't had anything to mess with in a while. Everything's been shut down, but our local uh, thrift store, apparently was open all this time, we didn't know it, but went there and found this. Ryobi Gasca Trimmer. Pretty clean, it was like 696, I think is what that said. But uh, all in all, it's in pretty good shape. It's uh, I can see it, it says it's 31 cc and the reason I got it is because I was curious if it ran because the model year here it says it's 2002 31 cc EPA manufacturer date was 2002 and turns over I haven't tried to start it or anything but it's complete I haven't had the air filter or anything open on it um, it's dusty and looks like someone had it sitting around for a while but for as old as it is it's clean it even has all the all the stickers are on it the shields actually on it still has string the button on the bottom actually goes up and down just needs cleaned up real good but I have no idea if it runs so finally went and got some gas and we'll see what happens of course it's probably gonna smoke a little bit as I thought it said 50 to 1 but it's actually 40 to 1 so Try to add a little more fuel in it to thin it out. But I don't know how well that's going to work. One of the fuel lines are still attached. Hopefully the tank doesn't have any holes in it. So I'm not going to fill it completely up. The primer ball. Now you can hear it sucking air. I personally haven't had much luck with Ryobi products, but mm, we'll give it a shot. Not knocking them. I just prefer a different brand. Yeah, it's about halfway. I just didn't like my bottle. <clears throat> gas weed trimmer one time from Home Depot it was Ryobi brand and just steady had problems with it so I just can't knock them just had issues with them once so actually the spark plug spark plug in it looks brand new so we'll give her a shot put it on choke and the primer ball has no fuel in it Seems to be pumping up pretty well. Let's see here. I personally, I think it'll run. I don't know if it'll start straight up, but I think it'll run. Oh, we got a leak. Oh, there it goes. Well, it's priming. So. Did have a leak. Maybe one of the lines has a little crack in where I had my finger in there pushing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so the primer ball does have a crack. But we're getting her to work. Alright, is it on? Button's on. Give her a crank. Much of the ball being in good shape. Alright, so we're pumping air. Yep, it's broke. Okay, so so far, I guess it shows its age. So far, it's got it needs a primer ball 
and the line for the primer ball. The fuel line appears to be fully intact. So I have to get one of those. I'll give her a couple more shots. Oh. Ah. Okay. Yeah, she's hit. Hit in the mouth. Alright, give me a second. I'll see if I can find the stuff to maybe try to address that. I'll be right back. Alright, so here's part of the problem. We got super brittle fuel lines. It wasn't just the primer ball, but the lines going from the tank to the ball and from the from the tank to you know everything else everything else is just they're just as brittle as they can be from age as soon as I went to try to get the ball out of it all the lines snapped but thankfully we have this old Ryobi that we was going to try to get running but we're going to try to use it for parts bulb came right off so the lines the lines are pretty flexible it is also a 31 cc not sure how old it is but let's see the tank looks like this should be about the same as this one so i'm hoping it will uh be a direct bolt on be pretty nice because they're really close pretty similar i mean the housing they both have uh you know the on and off button same pot you know the cranks up here I think it did get, oh, I can't see there's too much glare, but inside the crankcase, if you guys can see in there, I can't see the screen, but went to pull the string, she's locked tight, so I have to pull the plug out, see if anything comes running out of it, and uh, I got to run a couple errands real quick, and then we'll get right back on it. Right, well, these tanks appear to be the same, same markings, one's just a little dingier than the other ones, huh? Different model weed eater, but it's Ryobi. Nice parts ones. I mean, it's got it's pretty much the same thing. Carb's a little different than this one, but other than that, they're the same. 31cc curve shaft. So, we shall get this sucker back together and uh, see what happens. Get it put back together, and uh, we'll pull the plug out and see if it's full of fluid. I'll be right back. Well, fit on there. Pretty much the same tank. Bolt right up. Got the carb and everything back on. But she locked tighter in a drum. So, what we're going to do is yank the plug out of her. And see if we can't get it to start spinning. Because you know, it was turning over really well, so I'm sure it's got some fluid down in it when I had it apart oh yeah it's on there so leave it with a 5 8 let's see what we got I don't know if I can get it from here or not oh, wrong socket I think Wrong sock. Where you at? I'm hoping it runs. It's pretty clean. It's old. But she's clean. I need to get a toolbox to bring out with me. So just have miscellaneous laying around. Tank. Oh, come on. Oh, the ratchet would help. The tank did have a little fuel in it. I hit the ball and sucked up whatever happens to be in there. So hopefully that doesn't create an issue. 
Where in the world did my ranch go? Sorry, hang on. Just a second. Alright, here we go. Haven't been able to find any mowers or anything out and about with everything going on. It's like everybody's afraid to go out and attempt to enjoy life, I guess, which I can't really blame them. I haven't made it out much myself. Just back and forth to work. And, oh yeah, see all that fuel come out of there? You should turn it over now. Plug's nice and soaked. At least it ain't all burn up, but dang, a bunch of fuel came out. I don't blame them for staying home, having to buy parts or buy replacement weed eaters or lawnmowers or riding tractors, whatever have you. But it's been nice. It's about the only time I really find them is this time of year, everybody getting rid of all the stuff they don't need. It usually ends up being a simple fix. All right, she should turn it over now. Oh yeah. Try that up some, get her back in there, and we'll see if she'll fire up. Should, I hope. <sighs> so that's a weed eater, I don't have nothing in it, so we're not really out of nothing but what I paid for it at the junk store. Wasn't much. Actually, had an air filter in it, which I was surprised, but I wasn't. But usually, I come across them; they have no air filters in them. This one actually had one. It was seemed to be well taken care of, especially for the age. All right. Well, hopefully, that's gas. It's in that ball. Yeah, it's working. Was work. Oh man, might help you put gas in it, right? Put a little bit in case one of those, one of those hoses looked a little loose, so hopefully it's not leaking. There's a little bit in there. Let's see, let's see if she runs. Looks like the only thing leaking is what I'm spilling. She's working. All right. And I'm gonna leave the black and yellow cap on it. The other one's just plain black. I'll leave this off and let it get some air. And the filter is in good shape. Surprise, surprise. All right, see if we can get her to fire her up. Hope so. There's some weeds out front that's about knee high. Choking it and see what happens. Let's some air. Hopefully, it didn't flood it. much gas. Here I thought it was going to be simple. Wrong.
Maybe she ain't getting no fire. Maybe that's why they got rid of it. Nah, it's flooded. I don't have... That garbage out there. Close up through the gaps right here. Oh, little dog made it out, didn't you? All right, try it without priming. Better way to work on stuff. Choke, let's choke some. Choke off. Function. I'm dumping fuel out the exhaust. I know those lines are hooked up, right? Just curious. It's got to be something simple, right? It's getting way too much gas. Some reason. Freaking Iobies. Wires all the way on, so uh, give it a shot. This one too. So I'm just gonna start. We'll find something to check the spark with. I'll be right back. All right, I think I figured out what the problem is. It's definitely not something I'll be able to fix today because I don't have one that'll fit it. Thought I did, but pretty sure the coil on that one's bad. But it's a different style than that parts one I got, so I have to try and track one down for it. At least we got the fuel lines, the primer, everything working. It's getting fuel. We just ain't getting no spark. I did take the uh, just in case, just in case it was the switch. I did take off the uh, the on and off button. You know, I took the front cover off to where I could get to the coil. The coil ended up being different than uh, than the one, the old one. This one's got just one prong. The one that's on it has a uh, shaped a little different, but it has two prongs for the tuner to ground it out to stop it. But tried that, unhooked it to see if maybe the switch was bad on the inside. The switches you can pick them up for dirt cheap. Just find a place that had carries DIY stuff, electronic stores. You can pick them up for a couple bucks. And uh, so I unhooked that and gave her some yanks, and still nothing. So she's just not getting any fire. Plenty of good compression. Some surprise for how old it is, but now it's all a lot dirtier than what it was. <laughs> but uh, we'll give it a shot. I did find something interesting the other day that this one I haven't seen. I found old lawnmower parts before. It was pretty rough. 
get the stuff out of the way. But I think this one takes the cake. This is, well, was, head to a, uh, some, uh, some kind of a push mower or self-propelled mower. You can see the, the head bolt holes. There was, at one time, one here. You know, like the old three and a half Briggs, or you know, or something like that. It still has the plug in it. This thing. You can actually see the screwdriver. Get down in there. This is that plug. This is a big old giant hole that's going to plumb through the head. This thing was laying in the mud by a uh, trash can by someone's yard. So I don't the trash truck ran it over at one time and shoved, shoved it in the mud or what, but we found we was walking down the alley, seeing if anybody threw anything out, and that thing is definitely toasted. I've never seen one quite that bad. And I've seen them where they, you know, oxidize, get pits in them and stuff like that. And but this one. This one takes the cake, but I will oh, track down a coil for this thing, so I think it runs. I think this needs a coil, and uh, once, once I find a coil for it, we'll give her another go, because I'm pretty sure it runs. I just have, I think that I have one more Ryobi weed eater that has issues but the same model as that one so I ain't gonna waste my time taking it apart looking for the coil so uh, I'll do what I can to track one down so I definitely see now why they donated it to the junk store to be sold it wasn't running so we'll track one down get it going I think she'll run I don't know how well but we'll get her going all right then till then I'll see you at part two thanks for watching